and it was um it's a punch in the gut man broke my back and uh, the doctor said I was never gonna be able to walk again yeah, that was tough you know I don't I don't I, ne I never think about myself being the first guy to do this uh, man just just a lot of self-reflection you know the, you know you start thinking about life and how to do life again you know um, being four foot nine in a wheelchair but uh, one guy that I do think about a lot is Christopher Reeve but I really truly believe that this exoskeleton would not be here if it wasn't for him I don't feel disabled anymore but I don't feel able-bodied I feel re-enabled and that's a, an amazing feeling my whole thing is I just want to be equal you know, it, it helps to have everybody else walking with you. It really, you can feel everybody's energy kind of going toward, toward that finish line. If I was to fall, you know, everybody would, would just pick me up and carry me to the finish line. Because um, I would do the same with them. Yeah, yeah. Suffering together, but also enjoying, you know, when you break through that suffering, celebrating with everybody. I don't like to celebrate alone. And I don't like to suffer alone. I've suffered alone before, and, that's, and that sucks. I'm a paralyzed man walking in a robotic exoskeleton, and, and that's different. I, I, I get that. Because, look, if I was in a race and I saw a guy in an exoskeleton, like I said, I, I would totally be like, man, that guy, that's badass. My name is Adam Gorlitsky. I'm from Charleston, South Carolina. I'm 30 years old. That's really all, all I want to do. I want to you know, walk the rest of my life, do races, and also, and just tell other people's stories. I, I get a lot of joy out of that.